attended by their royal highnesses, the Prince and Princess of Wales. We were also to have had the company of her royal highness, Princess Anne, this evening. But unfortunately, she cannot attend. She had a nasty accident uh, last night at the badminton horse trials, and she bruised her nose badly, jumping against the clock. <laughs> and as the royal couple enter the theatre, fashion-conscious people are always eager for details of what the royals are wearing. So, although I know Judith Chalmers, I'll do the best I can. Prince Charles is wearing a black tail suit with six silk-covered buttons. The deep lapels are faced in black silk, which catches the gleam of the theatre lights. Under the jacket, a white waistcoat and crisp white wing-collared shirt, with a frivolous hint of colour provided by the blue sash and metal ribbon. The princess is wearing a blue frock. <laughs> Well, there's a nice touch. The royal couple going over to greet the young lady in the box office. Good evening. Sorry, love, we're sold out. <laughs> sold out. There's some big knob coming in tonight and all the tickets are gone. Well, I see. Well, I think you'll find that I'm the big... No, well, that is to say... <laughs> um, well, suffice to say, we are expected. Oh, friends of the governor, are you? What's the name? Wales. No, I didn't ask where you came from. I said, what's your name? Uh, no, Wales is our name. Oh. First names? Uh, Prince of. Uh, Princess of. No, I'm sorry, love. There's nothing here for you. In that case, Charles, could we go home? No, no, no. no, no, no. I think you'll find that we are expected. Um, I mean, you must have seats for us. I mean, don't you know my mother's a queen? So's my brother, but he still has to pay to come in. Here. Did you just say queen? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't recognise you. Here's your tickets. But you are a bit late. I suppose you popped over the road to get some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, lady, we did not pop over the road to get some Kentucky Fried Chicken. We went down the road for a McDonald's. <laughs> well, I can't help feeling that the young lady in the box office will be working somewhere else tomorrow night. So, here come the royal couple about to be greeted by the show's organiser, Lord Delphont. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. May I have your tickets, please? <laughs> uh, before we go any further, I think you should sort out the girl in the box office. Sir, I'm a happily married man. Tell me, Lord Delphont, do you have a good show for us tonight? Tonight, ma'am, I've got a show for you, and it's the finest influence can buy. Well, I do hope it's not going to be too long. Well, I mean, how long would you like it to be, sir? Put it this way, I didn't want to miss my coronation. Oh, very good, sir, very cool. Very funny line, funny line. <laughs> now, if you would care to walk this way, a funny line. If, if one, one could, could walk, walk that way, way one, one wouldn't need, need the talcum powder. <laughs> the customary bouquet is presented to Her Royal Highness by Gladys Beckett, a former music hall acrobat. <laughs> and now, accompanied by Lord Delphont, the Prince and Princess of Wales enter the royal box. Are you comfortable, Lord Delphont? Well, I make a living. <laughs> and now the lights dim and the show begins. Charles, who is it? Uh, I, I, I didn't know, dear. Uh, who is it, Delphon? Uh, Sir Richard Attenborough, sir. Ah, Sir Richard Attenborough. One of our finest comedians. But, Charles, Sir Richard Attenborough isn't a comedian. No, you just listen to this. Your Royal, lovely darling, Highnesses. <laughs> My lovely darling, Lords, ladies and lovely darling, gentlemen. <laughs> what a truly wonderful theatrical night I am <laughs> my heart my darlings is in the right place as indeed my lovelies is yours 
You have come forward to support this charity tonight. So much of our lovely darling business depends on charity these days. Once proud and famous opera companies are now crying out for help in their dreadful plight. Only last week I was horrified to hear that a wheel had fallen off Doyle's cart. <laughs> and the mounting of shows on tour has become almost financially <laughs> impossible. So tonight, all monies gathered will go to a worthy cause which I commend to you sincerely. Bob Geldof. <laughs> so let's bring up the lovely Darling Curtain on our lovely, lovely Darling Show. Thank you.